What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge called Flood Fill. Basically, you're, an image is represented by a 2D array of integers, each integer representing the pixel value of the image. You're given a coordinate, which is the row and column, representing the row and column of the flood fill, and a pix pixel value called new color. So our job is to perform a flood fill, which is considering the starting pixel, and you're going to go through four connected directionally to the star pixel of any star pixel, plus any direction connected four directionally to those pixels, also with the same connection of star pixels, and so on. So our job is to replace all the color of the aforementioned pixels with a new color. And then we're going to return the modify image. So in this case, we have image which is 1111, 1110, 101. Uh, so, th so this represents the column, each column. Like this is like a matrix of values. So like 111, 1110. So like l let's, I'll draw this out uh, to make it less ridiculous. So image is 1111. So that's 111, 110. Uh, one zero one. Okay, so this is our image. It's basically a matrix of values. We're gonna start at SRC uh, SR, which is row one, and then column one. And our job is to replace every value of the row one and column one with a new value of color two. So what is row one and column one? That is do, 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 row one, column one, row one. Wait, are they basing off zero indexing? Let's see. Are they basing off in zero indexing? Okay, I'm gonna assume they are. From the center with position one one. Okay, yeah, so they they're they're starting with the center. So one okay, so here's I'll show you the index is one zero one two, and then the index is zero one two. And what they're starting at is SR one, SC one, so this the middle one. One column one row one, row one column one. That's what they're doing, and they're starting here. And now their job is to basically replace all the values between these values with the that are not colored two in four way. So uh, they're also they're not considering zero, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So in forward directionally, this would. What is above this is going to become two. This is going to become two. This is going to become two. Uh, they don't count zeros for some reason, but okay. So one, two. Uh, did they? Did the bottom become two? Yeah. Okay. So this bottom becomes two. Uh, let's see. The top diagonally becomes two also. Yeah. And then the right side becomes two. Uh, this this bottom didn't become two for some reason. Hey, let's see. Note the bottom corner is not color two because it is not four directionally connected. Four directionally connected. Okay, so they're saying that. What does that mean by that? Why did this bottom not become two? Oh wait, okay, I gotta go back and read it this again. Consider starting and connecting four to four directionally to the starting pixel the same as plus any four directionally to the Um What does that mean? It is not four directionally connected. I'm guessing that means is that they have to be surrounded four directionally. So here from the middle, this was surrounded by four, one, two, three, four. So that's why these became two. This is surrounded by four, one, two, three, four. And that's why these became two, one, two, three, four. So that's what they mean by four directionally. That's what I think. Okay. so. That's basically the gist of the algorithm of the problem. So now we're going to actually code this up. So first of all, we know flood fill is going to return the same image, so we're going to return image. Next, we have to do depth first search. So how do we do that? Um, you have to create a new method called depth first search. Depth first search. 
what is that first search going to have? It's going to have the source, the row, column, and then it's going to have the new color, and then it's going to have the same image as well. So I'll just copy this. Okay. Um, what are they going to do? So, so first we have to get the current color. So that's just going to be current color, and this is going to equal to the image at the row and the column. Um, then we have to check if current color is not equal to the new color, then we have to run depth first search. On the image, the the row, the column, and then we need to pass in the new color also, uh, the current color. So here I'm going to do current color, current color, and then new color. Okay, so we're going to run depth first search on that, and this, this depth first search is going to change the current color to the new color. Okay. So, how do we do that? So, what we're going to do is we are going to change the current color to the new color. So, to change the current color to the new color, all we have to do is just, uh, let's see, if current color is equal to new color. No, no, no. We get the... No, that's not what we do. Okay, um... We have to do image at R and C is going to equal to new color. Then we have to run depth first search going through the four ways, which is up, down, left, and right. So to do that, we're going to do, 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 do. if R is greater than or equal to one. That means we have to go. So if we're on the first row, like we're greater than the first row, we're gonna go up. This is gonna go up. Okay, so we're gonna pass in depth first search going up. So we're gonna do this, but then we're gonna do, do row minus one, same color. Everything is also the same. So this is gonna go to the left side. Uh, then we have to check if, uh, let's see, if R is less than the size of the image, uh, size of the image minus one, yeah. So then that means we're going to go down. Yeah, that means we're going to go down. So that means we have to do DFS image and then go down. The reason I'm checking the reason why I'm checking this and this is to make sure that we're not going out of bounds when we check the images. So this is going to go down. No, th this is this is going to go up because row minus 1 means we're going up by one row. So in, remember the picture 0 1, right? 1 is the row 1. If I want to go up, I subtract 1 from the row. So that'll be at 0. That's up row. If I want to go down, I have to do my current row, 1 plus 1, which is 2, and that goes down. And this is just to make sure that I don't go out of bounds between the size. And this makes sure I don't go below 0. So, okay, then we're going to do the same thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass in... Um, we're going to pass in the value of... Uh, column. There's a, there's a large ambulance in my thing. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we're going to pass in the column, and we're going to pass in these. This is going to be the same thing as a row, but we're going to subtract one here, and then we're going to do the same thing for uh, less than image dot size minus one. Uh, this is going to be plus one. Okay. Uh, and then I, I think that's it, pretty much. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to do? 
All right, so one thing that I did forgot to do is that, remember we passed in the current color here into the dev first search? So the reason why we did that is because we had wanted to check if the current color uh, all is equal to whatever the new color that we pass in, right? So in this case, in this example, we had to make sure they're all, the we got the current value that we're starting at, which is one, and we had to make sure that all the surrounding areas of one of whatever new color that we have is equal to one and then we're gonna change it so current color is actually the starting color that you started at so we actually have to check if our starting color is equal if if the color that we're currently on is equal to the starting color so current color is actually the starting color I should rename that but because if it's equal to the starting color then we have to do all this stuff we have to go depth first and go through like check every every value because like if it's equal to one right so like let's say I'm on here one if this is equal to one then yeah then I would change it but in this case zero zero is not equal to one so that's why we didn't change zero so that's why we have to check if the the color that we're on currently is equal to our starting color that we had current color is actually starting color but yeah that's where we have to do this. Um, I'm gonna just indent this real quick. And then we hit submit. Let's see if it does anything. It's still runtime error. What is the problem? Let's see, what is our problem? Do, 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 do image.size this should be right <laughs> something with out of bounds I think less than or equal to no plus one is less than the size oh maybe column it has to be zero No, it's, that's not right. What is our problem? Oh, so, okay, so this actually has to be plus. Let's see. Okay, okay, so the problem was is that here, when we, we were decreasing the row, even if, uh, when r is less than the size minus one what we should have done is plus one because this is actually going down this is going down and we're checking if it reaches the end of the image size for the boundary so we shouldn't have subtracted one we should we had to add one so yeah that's basically how you do this question you had to go through you get the current color that you're on and then you that first search on that color and then you have to keep checking if it's the same color that as your current color. And then that's how you would that's how you would solve this question. And then each time you check it, you have to increase one for like going to above, below, to the left, and then to the right. And you have to make sure it's between the boundaries. But yeah, that's how you do this question. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.